Our Father, we thank you for the beginning of this teacher's conference. Thank you for journey mercies you have granted us. Thank you for the great expectation that we have. Thank you because we know you are present with us already. We thank you because we know you are going to do great, great, great things in our hearts, in our lives, amidst us, in Jesus' name. We thank you for the invitation you have given us already. That if we are thirsty, any one of us, we can come to you. We can drink. And Lord, we know we are thirsty. There are a lot of needs in our lives. We feel that we are living in a dry land. We are weak. We are weary. We are tired. We are exhausted. We are barely living. Without a refreshing from on high, what shall we do? Without the water of life poured upon us and within us, giving us new life again, how can we continue? Therefore, Lord, we know it's a timely invitation from you. We really want to drink until we need no more. Therefore, Lord, we are praying that you will open the fountain, the source of living waters from on high. And pour upon everyone in Jesus' name. We pray that everyone will be satisfied. Every need will be met. Every difficulty will be removed. There will be a wonderful refreshing from on high in Jesus' name. The dryness were brought. The weariness we have experienced. The tiredness we sense within us. We pray you will take everything away in Jesus' name. Lord, we are praying that everywhere on these grounds, the water of life will be pouring down. Upon all the teachers, upon all the workers, upon all the men and the women, and upon the members of the children choir, youth choir, and their leaders, upon our leaders who are around, every one of us, Lord, we will not remain dry. We will not go back home the same. I pray, O oh Lord, you will perform necessary, needed operation within every one of us in Jesus' name. Help us to respond to your invitation. You told us to come. We have come. Satisfy every soul. Meet every need. Do the seemingly impossible in every heart and life. That when we go back to our various schools, churches locations homes will go back with new refreshing with new anointing with new experience then we'll be able to start the work afresh again touch everyone deliver the oppressed do good in every life thank you lord for the answer in jesus name we pray from john chapter 21 reading from verse 12 we have the message of christ to his own disciples and his message coming to us today he gave it in form of invitation and he expected that the disciples will respond and of course they responded and as a result of their response a lot of good things came into their lives not only that it came into their lives it passed through them to the people that were weary and weak and to the people that were waiting for their ministry and it's the same invitation the lord is giving us as he welcomes us to this year's uh, teachers conference there are those no doubt who are coming for the first time i believe that those who are coming for the first time you have come with excitement and expectancy and those who have been here before and this is a not a strange conference to you i believe like the first timers you too you are coming understanding that every meeting with the lord is a special gathering and there is nothing still about the meeting that god calls us into that's why as we look at the words of jesus christ in john chapter 21 verse 12 we read jesus says unto them come and dine and none of the disciples does ask him who art thou 
knowing that it was the Lord. There is so much in that simple statement I read unto you. It says, Jesus said unto them, Come and dine. And none of those disciples, weak, weary, tired, discouraged, disappointed, poor, and needy disciples, none of them asked any question. You see, Jesus Christ, a few days before, had been taken by the wicked hands of the enemies. The, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the whole Herodians, they had crucified the Lord Jesus Christ. But he had told them about that, that should not have taken them by surprise. And then he was buried, and the third day, although he told them, they really were not expecting, but he rose from the dead. And as he rose from the dead, he began to appear unto them. But by this time, these disciples, they had become so discouraged, they couldn't wait for the Lord Jesus Christ. In their discouragement, Peter said, I go a fishing. He left what the Lord had told him to do. He felt that the call he had received, there was nothing to eat anymore. Discouragement had set in. The discouragement came as a result of a number of things. Number one, the expectation of the disciples that Jesus Christ will immediately turn over the government of the unbelieving people, the Romans, and then reign as a king of kings. That expectation had not been met. That was going to establish a kingdom, and they will sit with him and become judges immediately. That expectation had been disappointed. Not only that, Peter himself had denied the Lord. And the shame of the remembrance, the remembrance of the shame of that denial was still hanging very much on him. And he didn't know that the Lord will still use him again. As a result of that, he said, I go a fishing. All through that night, he didn't get anything. And then the Lord knew their condition and he came to them. Children, have you any bread? No, they didn't have any bread. No, they didn't have any provision because they had cut themselves off from the supply coming from the Lord in heaven. Their unfaithfulness had cut them away from the heavenly supply. And so at this time, we meet these disciples who are number one, discouraged. Number two, unfaithful. Number three, they were poor and unsuccessful. They had no meat, not for themselves not for their families not for the people hungry people that were waiting for them they were poor they were unsuccessful unsuccessful in walking all through the night all through the day they caught nothing not only that number four they were hungry and they were in need they had disregarded the instruction of the lord they had abandoned their call before we go too far look away from those disciples now see yourself and picture yourself also in uh, at the shore at the shore what are you doing now the work the lord had given you to do is there any time you have been discouraged because of what had happened either happened in your own life or happened with the lord jesus christ and your expectation he will do this he will do this he will prove to the romans that he's not an ordinary man is the king of kings and the lord of lords is the incarnate god the god that became flesh and dwelt among us he will prove to them that i'm serving a living god and the lord did not do what you wanted him to do the way you wanted him to do at the time you wanted him to do it have you not been discouraged have you not been a little bit unfaithful not standing not staying not sitting by your post and not doing what he wanted you to do have you not sensed the poverty in your spirit in your heart in your own life have you not been unsuccessful in the work of the lord are you not hungry are you not in need now as they disregarded the instruction of the lord have we not sometimes abandoned the work he had given us to do oh yes we had arisen we must make ends meet yes we had our reason our family has to eat yet we had our re our reasons we have failed and we don't know whether the lord will use us once again they abandoned their call it was then at that point of need he appeared unto them and instead of rebuking them instead of chastising them instead of scolding them he rather invited them and he said come and dine 
and what a meal that was when you think of the king of heaven when you think of the lord of glory when you think of the risen christ when you think of the supernatural one when you think of the second personality in the trinity in the godhead when you think of the master of angels and men when you think of the one that had conquered death when you think of the one that is coming from heaven and he didn't go to the market to buy anything and yet here is miraculous food meal he had prepared for them and he said come and dine you know that is a kind of a meal and he invited them and said come and dine what strength what energy they were going to receive from that meal what hope what assurance that with all the disappointment with all the discouragement with all the abandonment of the work he gave them and yet without even talking about that without talking about their weakness and about the disappointment they had caused him he rather invited them come and dine what hope what assurance what faith what vision he was turning up within them again and then eventually as you look at how the story went what commission and what courage he gave to them as the edge was in there are three things that come out very clearly as we look at the message of christ to them when he said come and dine number one is sharing with christ he must have brought this food from heaven he must have got all the nutrients that will give conviction once again courage once again commitment once again consecration once again all the all that will give the spiritual vitamin that they needed he prepared everything and now he said this belongs to me in fact i am the very bread of life and that bread is coming to you now and i invite you to come and share with me come and dine not only that he shared himself with them and shared his provision with them number two strength from christ when we are weak we eat we're strengthened when we are tired we drink and we are strengthened and when it appears that there's no more energy no vigor no vitality within us if we get food that nourishes the body it gives us strength and here the lord was giving them strength he was inviting them come and dine strength from christ and then number three is a source of consolation the people would have thought he will not make use of us again he has abandoned us there's nothing we can do anymore we accept we are failures we accept we have failed and there is nothing else we can do he will not even come our direction anymore we've gone so far from him he will have nothing to do with us and then the comfort and then the consolation that i have not abandoned you didn't i tell you i will never leave you i will never forsake you my presence will go with you and i am still willing to do everything i did before all that you have lost i'm still able to give you again and i invite you i don't count you like my enemies you are still my friend and i invite you to come and share this meal with me it became the source of consolation for them and those are the three points we're considering number one sharing with christ number two strength from christ and number three the source of consolation let's look at it one by one number one sharing with christ and jesus said unto them come and dine this is different from christ just giving you food and say go and eat that where you will where you want he said we're going to eat together the risen lord resurrected lord glorified lord the one that had uh, abandoned the ordinary flesh and now he's risen and with that risen body he sat down and he said we're going to eat together we're going to dine together and we're going to see together on the same table feasting and we're going to feast on the same meal together you now imagine you now think about it the greatest opportunity anyone could ever have you would understand this kind of opportunity if the highest person in your community the greatest person in your community were to call you sit with him on the table and eat with him you would understand this if you were to think of the president of this nation 
and he was to choose a few people to be with him on the table for a special occasion and you see it on that same table and eat with him you'll understand what we're talking about if the president of the united states of america were to call you and then you sit with him on the table and you eat with him all these people i have mentioned the highest person in your community the head of state in our own nation or the president of america the human beings they have not risen from the dead they are not dead yet they are still alive but you think of christ the king of kings and the lord of lords you think of christ who had gone to heaven with the father and he came back again you think of christ who had overcome death and overcome the devil and overcome every difficulty and he rose from the dead and he called the people now come and dine that was going to be a meal but when you think about it that the lord is telling you the same thing today and all through during this conference the lord is telling you the same thing you will eat with christ you will dine with christ and as you dine with christ as you eat with him you will receive of his fullness in jesus name in john chapter 1 reading from verse 16 john chapter 1 verse 16 the same opportunity is given to you and given to me and he's still inviting you and inviting me come and dine john 1 verse 16 he says and of his fullness have we all received grace for grace when as you come to this uh, conference and you are listening to the invitation of the lord that is telling you come and dine is saying come and receive of his fullness the fullness of his provision the fullness of the bread of life in fact he wants to share himself with you because at another time he told his own disciples that he himself was the very bread of life in john chapter 6 and reading from verse 47 john 6 47 48 verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me has everlasting life i am that bread of life he wants you to eat he wants you to feast on him he wants you to share his provision he wants you to share all that he has salvation is present with him sanctification is present with him the power of the holy ghost is present with him healing is present with him anointing and power present with him everything you'll ever need for soul for spirit and for body present with him all your spiritual material needs everything can be satisfied by him and he says all you need to do is come and dine come and partake come and take it for yourself because i am the bread of life as he is the bread of life he invites you he wants you to come and share of the riches of christ the provision of christ this means you are seated with christ he says, but don't, don't stay far away from christ he says here am i you're still a little bit far away come near sit down here and sit with christ the bread of life and have life through him and as you do that you will receive strength as you eat as you take as you receive all that he provides and i want you once again to picture yourself among the disciples of the lord who were by the seaside not expecting the call of the lord at this time thinking that they themselves they were disappointed in themselves and they couldn't forgive themselves and they never knew that the lord will forgive them and that he could ever still make use of them and it was such at such a time he called them and he said come 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 and dine i go to number two very quickly strength from christ i read john chapter 21 again verse 12 jesus says unto them the reason lord said to the earthly people the mighty lord said to them the weak people the one that has all power all strength all grace he said to the people that were spiritually poor that had nothing nothing to eat nothing to satisfy them and the earth and the world was not worth living for them he said come and dine he was inviting them to come and receive strength i'm sure you know from normal experience in life that when you've been weak and tired without any strength when you eat you become strong the bible says the same thing because the bible is true to experience in acts of the apostles chapter 9 acts chapter 9 reading from verse 19 
and when he had received meat he was strengthened that's why we say the lord was calling them to come and receive strength come and dine that means if they ate that food strength will come to them when he had received the meat he was strengthened that talks about paul the apostle he had been without food for three days and now they called upon him while they laid hands on him Ananas in particular did that he received the sight and as he received the sight he also received the holy ghost then they were he was told that he ought to eat and he ate and he was trending in acts chapter 27 verse 34 acts 27 verse 34 wherefore i pray you to take some meat for this is for your health it is for your health it is for your strength these people that the lord called and he told them come and drink he was tell telling them come and dine he was telling them to come to dine to eat so that strength will come into their lives whenever you come to a place like this there must be a need in your life the lord must have a reason for bringing you here you might not even know all the reasons why you are here but one of the reasons will be that he knows your weakness he knows your loss of strength he knows that you need this strength spiritual strength for me he knows that if you do not come once in a while like this and you just go on preaching laboring walking running jumping you'll get tired you'll get exhausted and before you know what you might be overcome by the problems that come upon you because you are moving on and you are walking on without the needed strength that's why he brings us together and he says come and dine come and receive strength you need another lease of strength before you will move on in the journey of life in isaiah chapter 40 isaiah chapter 40 reading from verse 31 but they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint or dine of the lord we will eat of the lord and then you will receive strength and if you need to mount over uh, to go over a mountain you will do it without getting tired and if you need to walk a long distance walking with the lord and walking for the lord you will do it you will not be weary and you will not be faint in jesus name the lord is inviting us that during this time none of us will miss fellowship with him none of us will miss the strength he wants to give unto us and he's saying come he's calling you to an intimate relationship come come and dine and you will discover that it brings strength in your life in philippians chapter 4 philippians chapter 4 verse 13 it says i can do all things through christ which strengthens me when the strength of the lord comes upon your life you'll be able to do everything he wants you to do without that strength of the lord that you get by sharing with the lord you will not be able to do all things there'll be some things you'll find difficult you'll just be too tired you'll not have the strength or the power the energy to be able to do it but if you will come and you will take of this bread of life then it means that you'll be able to do everything he wants you to do i told you number one sharing with christ number two is the strength from christ that we get as we come into fellowship with him as we come into communion with him as we come to dine to eat to feast at the same table with the lord but you see if you are going to really eat with the lord there must be spiritual appetite if you don't have spiritual appetite although the provision of the food is there although everything the lord has is there you will not be able to take anything because there is no appetite i pray the lord will give you spiritual appetite and i pray that the meal of the lord the provision of the lord that has prepared for every one of us you will take everything he grants you opportunity to take in jesus name this bread from heaven is available for every one of us and he wants us to eat he wants us to take everything he has provided not leaving anything behind not wasting anything and i told you that number three this is a source of consolation wouldn't you uh, as you imagine the condition of the uh, disciples wouldn't you think that uh, they were so happy and they were looking at one another 
that's the lord we don't need to ask any question who is that that is calling us and none of them of the disciples does ask him who art thou knowing that it was the lord they must have been surprised will he call us again shall we have fellowship with him again can you imagine our sitting with him again he is so pure and so holy look at look at our failure he is so mighty and powerful he rose from the dead look at how weak we are are we qualified to sit with him on the same table what a, what kind of compassion is this calling us into communion with him it was a source of consolation unto them that after all the lord has not forsaken us and is calling us the same thing is telling you today he has not forsaken you he might know all he knows all that you might have done he knows everywhere you have gone he knows everything you have said he knows your weakness he knows even your failure he knows the disappointment you have caused to him and he said let's settle everything this is a new day that is beginning in your life i can do something new now i can take that weakness away from your life all the things that are bringing tears of regret and tears of sorrow and even shame in your life i can remove everything only on one condition let's forget the past let's start a new journey come and dine that's consolation indeed oh the lord had told them before this time in john chapter 14 john chapter 14 verse 18 i will not leave you comfortless i will come to you we are not orphans there is comfort for us there is consolation for us he has compassion on his own creatures and on the redeemed of the lord he has promised us i will not let you leave you comfortless i will come unto you now he comes and as he comes he invites us and he says come and dine he tells us still that same promise in hebrews chapter 13 hebrews chapter 13 from verse 5 Hebrews 13 5 let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have for he has said I will never leave thee nor forsake thee he proved that I will never leave you and I will never forsake you they went a fishing and he saw there is nothing to the call anymore we're just going to do whatever we want to do he will never call us again we have disappointed him he must have even been regretting he even called us in the first place he must have got somebody to replace us because he's a great god and he knows he knows how to be able to fashion out another instrument after all john the baptist had said if those are jewish pharisees if they rejected him he was able to raise up children out of the stone we must have disappointed him so much he has raised up stones to replace us now and to tell them that jesus had not done that he came to them said children have you any meat and he said no we don't have any he said throw your net over there and they threw the net and they caught a multitude of fishes and now when they came to the shore he said don't argue among yourselves don't feel ashamed don't try to hide yourself don't run away i've been waiting for you i've been looking for you i came from heaven after i rose from the dead i could have stayed in heaven because i've done the work i've redeemed the world i paid the price i've made the sacrifice and i rose from the dead i showed myself to you and that could have been enough because now you have the proof that i've risen from the dead i could have gone to heaven but i need you and i'm looking for you and i know the shame you feel i know the tiredness and the and the thing that is moving in your heart and i want us to die together to eat together to assure you i have not forsaken you and i will never forsake you therefore come here come and dine the lord is calling you he says come forget the past and as you come to him look at his face and say lord you love me so much you are inviting me you brought me to this teacher's conference i just came i didn't know that you still had something wonderful for me and the lord says so oh, yes i still have something for you i want to share myself with you i want to be the strength of your life and i want to be the source of comfort and consolation in your life sit down here come and dine will you come i said will you come will you forget the past 
all the shame of the past and even confess to him and say lord what an intimate relationship you are calling me to i will never disappoint you again i will never leave you again as i eat this food during this conference i will get strength spiritual energy and i will be a conqueror everything that i need in my soul in my spirit in my body in my family in the ministry you have granted me as i eat the food you are going to give me during this conference i will never be the same again brothers and sisters i come here myself to eat i come to share from the lord i know he has something to give me i've not got everything yet i want to get something from the lord how about you why don't you rise up and say lord i want to eat lord i want to eat lord i want to eat i am hungry i am tired i am weak i am weary i feel discouraged i feel dry within me bread of life feed me until i want no more satisfy me fill me up satisfy me help me lord i know you love me i know you will never forsake me i know i've disappointed you but you are not talking about the disappointment you have invited me to come lord i come lord i come lord i come lord i come he invites you to come to feed on him to drink from him he will never leave you he will never forsake you he loves you he wants to forget all that you have done in the past he wants to forgive everything you've done in the past he wants to give you more grace he wants to share his goodness with you he wants to give you the riches of his grace the riches of heaven and all the privileges that are tied associated with the redemption he wants to give unto you come come and dine come with expectation come with faith come with assurance come come wholeheartedly come without any reservation sit on the side of christ visualize imagine see him he's sitting down see him smiling see him welcoming you see him accepting you he says sit down here by my side sit down by my side i will give you strength i will give you power i will give you all the provision you need i will meet all your needs i will wipe your tears away i will take your fears away sit down here by my side come and dine come and dine come and dine come and dine don't stay far away my you are tired still come you're weak still come you have disappointed the lord still come you are disappointment to yourself still come you have prayed before and there was no answer still come you have no money still come you have nothing you have no food still come other people think you cannot work for god again still come you have done something shameful still come you denied the lord before still come 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 and die come and die the lord is waiting for you he waits for you come and share with christ come and receive strength from the lord come 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 and see to the risen christ the glorified christ come and dine have you eaten so much from the enemy so much from the world that you don't need the food christ is presenting to you have you eaten so much food from your own kitchen that you don't want to eat what christ is giving to you have you eaten from the provision of men and women that you don't have need of the food christ is preparing for you are you so full of yourself are you so full of your own ideas are you so full of your own wisdom are you so full of human energy are you so full of something materialistic that you don't want to come to the lord jesus christ to come and eat of this bread that is coming from heaven get rid of those earthly things get rid of those things belonging to self 
get rid of those things that will not satisfy if you drink of this water coming from the well of jacob you will be thirsty again but come to the lord jesus christ and get of the living water that will drink and drink and drink and drink and then it will be coming out of you a fountain of living waters abandon the food coming from egypt abandon the food that is coming from the other side of the fence and come to the lord come to the lord he will satisfy you he will satisfy you come and dine during this conference let him give you all that you need let him satisfy you let him fill your cup to overflowing let him meet every need of your life Come, come, come and down. Everyone that comes will be satisfied. He rejects no one. He rejects no one. Everyone that comes will be satisfied. Come, come and down. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Have you heard that is calling you? I said, have you heard that is calling you? You know he loves you. You know the devil can never take you away from Christ. Do you know that even with all those disappointments that have caused him, he's still calling you? He's thinking about you. He can't do without you. He's so attached to you. Instead of going for all the new converts and telling the sinners to come, he came to you. He said, Come. Come and do. Will you come? Will you come? Will you sit with Christ? Your chair is empty beside Christ. It's waiting for you. Come. Don't mind all that you have done in the past. Come. Don't mind the time you were weak and you denied the Lord. Come. Don't mind that you abandoned the work of the Lord before. Come. Your chair is vacant by the side of the Lord. No other person will sit there. Come. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father, we thank you. Thy God of love. Lord Jesus, our Savior, we bless your name. Your heart is full of love. That you invite people like us. And you are waiting for us. And you tell us to come and dine. And you come with the riches of heaven privilege of redemption the provision coming through your sacrifice and you bring all the riches of glory and you bring everything to us and you invite us and you tell us to come and dine 
What a great love. We've never heard of, we've never seen any love like this before. Makes our heart to rejoice that you can reserve a place for us and not replace us with any other person, with any other thing. And that you're still waiting for us, inviting us to come and die. Lord, we are grateful. Accept our praises in Jesus' name. Lord, we come. There is no doubt in our hearts. All we need for spirit, for soul, and for body, for spiritual life, for natural life, for physical life, everything we need answers to prayer, miracle, signs, wonders, holiness, healing, deliverance, provision, job, education, promotion anything everything we know that you have prepared everything for us and you have invited us to come and dine lord we come fill us to overflowing in jesus name we come to this teachers conference with our cups lifted up with our hearts expecting believing that we're going to receive abundance from you lord fill us satisfy us pour your spirit upon us grant us everything we need for spirit soul and body and satisfy everyone till we want no more in jesus name everything we got before which we have lost give us again in jesus name everything we have been desiring and praying for and desiring to have we have not got give us in jesus name take the tiredness away take the weakness away take the shame away take the disappointment away take the remembrance of failure away take the sickness away take the affliction away yielding to temptation take it away in jesus name we want to sit by your side. We want to lean our weary head upon you. We want to rest upon you. We are tired. We are weak. Powers beyond us have been chasing us. Now we come to your presence. And we know in your presence. The devil cannot touch us there. Demons cannot touch us there. Difficulties cannot touch us there. The powers of darkness cannot touch us there. Now we come. Now we come. Lord, set the table before everyone. Satisfy everyone. Meet the need of everyone. Until we have enough, and we have to give and to share with other people open the windows of heaven open the fountains of living waters satisfy your people by the end of this conference every soul would have been satisfied every hungry heart would have been fed every thirsty soul will be satisfied with water of life in jesus name every need would have been met every mountain would have been removed all that we need would have been supplied we have started eating we'll continue till the very end keep on feeding us till we need no more thank you lord for the answer in jesus name we pray